Keep walking in style. That's how we're supposed to live. God saying, I will bless those who bless you. Those who curse you, I will curse them. So you don't fight. Let God fight for you. Amen. And then after that, you will all... Uh, okay, what is that? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, and use isolate language towards you. In you will all the families and kindreds of the earth be blessed. And by you, they will bless themselves. Hallelujah. What a life. God said to Abraham, this is how you will become. This is how my favor towards you will make you or to enable you to become. Such an influential life. Such a blessed life. And then after that, he said, and you will, okay, bless them. So Abraham departed as the Lord had directed him and Lord, his nephew, went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran. 75 years. It's not too late to do the will of God. Amen. To do the will of God. It's not too late. If you are sitting here, you are thinking, I'm already 45 and I'm not yet married. I have a good news for you. The best is yet to come. Hallelujah. Keep believing. Keep trusting. Amen. I see some people are shy. Some people shy. Don't be shy. Receive when God say. Hallelujah. The yet is, the best is yet to come. In every area of your life. Maybe you, are, you might be thinking, I'm already 55. I wasted my time. I did not serve God. Probably you have another 30 years to serve him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Abraham obeyed God and he departed. Okay. And yet I know he have done some mistake because God said don't bring anyone. Just bring your wife. But he, he's so clever. Good. bring Lot. That is a different topic. Maybe it's one house or land or maybe. But he let go everything. He let go. And he follow God's direction. So brothers and sisters, God spoke. Play for me. God spoke the favor, his favor in Abraham's life. And God told him, this is how my favor is going to affect your life. But I want to tell you this thing, God spoke to him in chapter 12. What happened in chapter 13? The effect of God's favor. Next slide, please. Okay. The effect of God's blessing the blessing of God's spoken favor in Abraham's life. Just in one chapter. Chapter 13. Next one, please. You know what happened to Abraham? Next one. Okay. Genesis chapter 13. Verse 1 and verse 2. Abraham went up of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that he had, and Lord with him, into the south country of Judah, the Nevik. Now Abraham was extremely extremely rich in livestock, in silver, in gold. Hallelujah. Only one chapter, the effect of what God declared, what God spoke in his life. It does not take 20 chapters of his life. It does not take another 30 chapters. But one chapter, the Bible says, Abraham became extremely Rich, you know what does that mean? You know what does that mean? Extremely rich. That means he is so 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 rich. Amen. With what? Livestock. Okay. Maybe twenty of his sheep turn to become twenty thousand. Amen. And then he start to have gold, silvers, 
See, brothers and sisters, listen to me carefully. Maybe, maybe some of you are listening. You may be thinking, ah, oh, yeah, he's, he's preaching the prosperity gospel. Let me tell you, there is no such things of prosperity gospel. There is only one gospel, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Let me tell you, it's nothing wrong to be rich. It's nothing wrong to have money. But if money have you, that's everything goes wrong. Do you understand? For you to have money, for you to become a blessing, for you to become a channel, it's nothing wrong. But not otherwise. Okay? Anybody here, you are praying to become poor? Can I see your hand? Anybody? No. If you are praying, I pray. All your wealth will come to me. Those who that don't want, I will take it. Because it's nothing wrong to become rich. But don't let richness to control you, to limit you. But you control what God gives you. And you become the master of what God has given to you. And you use it properly for the advancement of God's kingdom and to bless others. That is fun. I want to become like that. I want to be rich so that I can build more churches. So that I can go to more countries. So that I can bless more people. So that we can see millions of souls come into God's kingdom. So nothing wrong. So in one chapter, the effect of God's spoken favor starts to take place. How many chapters it takes? How many chapters you need in your own life? Tell your neighbor. How many chapters you need? Okay. Let it be just one chapter. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The effect of God's blessing in just in one chapter. Okay, next one, please. Now I will, we want to go more deeper. More deeper. You know what really happened after that? The blessing of God's spoken favor enabled Abraham even to prosper during famine. Not only during good time, but during pandemic, Abraham keep prospering. Okay, next one, please. Okay. In Genesis, now we jump to Genesis chapter 12, verse 10 to verse 13. It says, now there was a famine in the land, and Abraham went down to Egypt to live there for a while because the famine was severe. Now verse 11, as he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife, Sarah, he said, I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, this is his wife. And they will kill me, but they will let you live. Say, you are my sister, so that they will treat me well. And for your sake, my life will be prepared because of me. This is what Abraham have done. A severe famine. Probably it is the drought. We all been through some kind of famine two years ago. The pandemic. Maybe some of us still have the effect. But let me tell you. Abraham moved to another place during the famine. The Bible says when he entered Egypt. He said Sarah. You are such a beautiful woman. Beautiful. When the Bible says beautiful, that means she must be really hot. You don't understand what does that mean. I say to the young people, that means she must be really, really beautiful. Do you know how old is Sarah during that time? You know how old is she? She's not 25, she's not 35, but she was 65. 65 old grandma. Ooh. She looked pretty, Bible says. Okay, I will come back to that in a short while. Because of her, her beauty, Abraham was afraid that they will kill him and take Sarah as their wife. So Abraham said, Sarah, please tell them. I'm not saying lie, but just say you are my sister. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's say, Bishop, ask Pastor Amy. When we go to somewhere, please tell them, you are my sister. What will happen to him? I think he finished. Okay? So that means what? 
Abraham, not a perfect man. He is not perfect. He has some kind of weaknesses like you and I. What was his weaknesses? Number one, he lied. Second, Abraham was very fearful. That is his weaknesses. Maybe some of you are thinking, oh, Abraham was so perfect. No flaws, no wrinkles, no weaknesses. That's why God bless him. God bless 